everybody. Uh, we are here with our spiritual friends, Claudio Cipullo. Hello, good morning. And today we are going to ask him uh, how to generate uh, bodhicitta. So, according to this teaching, I would like to refer to the teaching of the great Ling Doji Chan, some teaching that he gave in his previous life in 1979. So the teaching how to develop bodhicitta, there are two ways, two major methods. The first is the six causes and one effect, and the second is exchanging oneself with the other. So the six cause and one effect start with recognizing that all sentient beings were once one our own mother, recognizing the mother's kindness, repaying su such kindness, the meditation of love, meditation on, on compassion and the extraordinary thought of universal responsibility. So these are the five cause and the, the one effect. So this produce the result bodhicitta. The second technique is the meditation in which we directly change self-cherishing into cherishing others. In order to practice either of these methods of, de of developing bodhicitta, we must first develop a sense of equanimity. This is in reality the difficulty equanimity towards sentient beings, all living beings. Mm, so we must go beyond the fact that we see some as close friends and other as enemies and, and the rest as strangers. Until we have developed equanimity for all beings, any meditation we do in the attempt to develop bodhicitta will, be, will not be effective. This is rather dramatical, you know, because we, we think, you know, bodhicitta means to be good, to be kind, but if you have no equanimity, there is no bodhicitta. You are not kind. It's not true. You are cheating yourself, you know. You pretend. You can pretend to be kind, but you are not kind. If you have equanimity, equanimity is the door towards the development of bodhicitta, towards the great heart that wants really to reach alignment for the benefit of the others, you know. All the rest it's just your hypocritical mind, you know. So, for example, if we want to paint a mural on a wall, we must first get rid of all the cracks and lumps on, on, on the surface of the wall. Similarly, we can create the beautiful bodhicitta with our mind until it has been purified of the distortion of seeing others as friend, enemy and stranger. So, to see the other as friend, enemy or stranger is a distortion and is the worst impediment to rise the bodhicitta. So until we 
realize the equilibrium meditation, we cannot. Uh, there is no bodhicitta. You know? Well, I can be a good boy, but that that's not bodhicitta. You know? To be a good boy is not bodhicitta. Don't think <laughs> don't think it's so easy. You know, bodhicitta. Don't think you are a bodhisattva only because you dress in red or you are kind to the other. That's just be kind. You know, but bodhicitta is completely another thing. It's something that you develop through these two methods, through reflecting either on the first method or exchanging yourself to the other, you know, either the five cause and the one effect or exchanging yourself with the other. That, of course, has to be explained, but this we will do um, later. So, I hope it's very clear what is meant as bodhicitta in Buddhism. And we ask all the great bodhisattvas and all the Buddhas existing in the tenth direction to please give us the wisdom to understand the precious bodhicitta. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Yoshi Polo. And uh, goodbye, everybody, and have a good time.